everyone, Lori of Music Monkey Jungle bringing to you user-friendly DIY music and movement in the comfort of your own home. Today I present to you rhythm, rhythm reading, and body percussion. I've got my handy dandy black marker and one measure of music. In my one measure of music, I am going to draw a long black line. I'm then going to take my finger and I'm going to make spaces in order to create four beats inside my measure. This is all spatial awareness and spatial reasoning for the brain. I'm then going to take two different colors for two different rhythms, color coding and drawing lines and circles. In elementary music, everybody learns this four beat pattern as one of the favorite patterns there is. And lots of times, music teachers teach the syllables as ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Right. What you are really reading is quarter note, quarter note, two eighth notes, quarter note. But that's so wordy that you use the rhythm syllables. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. When you get really, really, really comfortable and good at drawing and reading one measure of rhythm, the rhythm gets smaller, the measures get smaller, the beat lines get smaller, and markers are no longer color-coded. The music turns to just black and white. I will have these rhythm papers posted where this video goes so you can print them out and use them in the comfort of your own home. They are regular paper. I just have them inserted into dry erase pocket folders, which you can get on um, Oriental Trading for a pretty good value. Um, a whole bunch of them. They come in the, the rainbow colors and they also come in just plain black. Um, and now I'm going to explain to you how you make this um, a user-friendly lesson for every age you have in your house. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. For little, little kids, you're going to ask them to clap. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. For older children, you're going to combine body percussion of padding, stomping, and snapping in. So if you did this for maybe second or third grade, and then you have the little kids, then when you get to older children, you have four measures of four beats, 16 beats all together, where you come up with various patterns that you have to perform on different body percussions, stomp, pat, clap, snap. This is an activity that the more you do, the more the children will learn and everybody will be reading music. The more you know.